Hi, I'm Tom Stevenson, and I'm a professor of construction management. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you an overview of a course I developed, which is on an introduction to construction and construction management. If you're currently seeking a career in the construction industry or you're working in a certain sector but maybe don't understand the full breadth of it, this is the course for you. I've been trying to fix up some of my playlists and give these introductory videos so that people can start here and then they can move through the course just like when I teach it live in a college. So let's jump in and let's see where it takes us okay so i'll give you this little bit of an overview the construction industry is a huge industry i don't care where you are what country you're in you know i've got millions of views i've had thousands and thousands of comments over the past few years and i get that people are in all parts of the of world uh, and um, there's a lot to the construction industry there's a lot of sectors there's a lot of specializations and then we have to bring all these things together and make it work and so there's high levels of complexity in being able to do all of these things and have really good structures buildings infrastructure that you know, society, the way we know it, would not be able to survive without. You know, just this picture here, this photograph that I took during the summer, this is a condominium development going up near me. And, you know, this is going to house people. This is going to be where people live. This is where they're going to be where, where they raise their kids. There's parkland, there's facilities, community centers, everything that has to go into this. There has to be power generation. There has to be water supplies. There has to be sanitary sewers. There's a whole wealth of things that we often don't consider. But when we're in construction, we have to consider all of it and we have to integrate it successfully into our buildings. So no matter what sector you're in, I go through this kind of information and basically how it works and give you a good insight into the overall construction industry in this first kind of uh, series of courses that I put up online. So what are the lectures and the videos that we have? Well, these are the topics that I have. And I start off with a little bit just on learning and change and how quickly um, the industry is changing and also how quickly the world is changing. Uh, you know, with basically building information, modeling, um, now AI, artificial intelligence is now starting to really sort of ramp up and be something that we can really use and sink our teeth into. Um, there's all kinds of things that we have to develop skill sets for so that we can learn more effectively. Look, I'm, I'm talking to the converted here. You're watching these types of videos. You're not just watching cat videos and that sort of thing. You, you have a hunger or thirst for learning. And so I'm hoping that these videos will help you on that journey. Uh, lecture 1B, we look at the different sectors that I was just mentioning. We kind of unpack them and kind of the scope of them and different specializations. We talk about project management. What are the aspects of project management? What do we do? What's a schedule? What's a critical path? How do we, how do we structure that? We talk about procurement process. How do we hire all these contractors, trade partners, and vendors? And why would I call it a trade partner? Um, construction contract types. We have to be contracted to do the work with our clients. And what kind of contract is it? Is it a lump sum, a design build, cost plus, unit cost, uh, integrated project delivery? What does all that mean? We look at supply chains. Well, if People have heard a lot about supply chains over the last five years and probably too much and more than they want to hear about. But supply chains is a big deal in construction. So we talk about that and how does that impact construction? We talk about the apprenticeship. How do you, how do you get into construction and what's the role and how do, I, how do I become a tradesperson and what are some of the things I need to think about in that line? And there's a lot of specializations within trades. So we, we discuss that. We talk about estimating. Okay, so we talked about project management. We talked about uh, supply chains. We've talked about apprenticeship and trades. Well, estimating is another whole sector, a specialization that people 
do really well in. You know, you in order to get a project, you got to estimate what it's going to cost. And if you don't do that very well, you're not going to execute on your projects very well. We talk about the bidding process. How do we compete? How do we pursue projects? We look at site management. So we've got project management and we've got site management. What's the difference between site management and project management? So I get into those things. Quality, delays, closeout. All of these, you know, if we don't satisfy certain quality expectations, the project's going to be in trouble. If it gets really delayed, and we know a lot of construction projects do get delayed, what are the reasons? What are the causes? And how do we finish off a project? We talk about all the regulatory requirements. We need those regulatory requirements. If we don't have those regulatory requirements, buildings like this wouldn't be safe. So there are a lot of regulatory requirements. And building those buildings, we need to make sure that the people building them go home to their families. So safety regulations, I get into that. And then there's all these changes that I was talking about that are coming, future trends and what's going on with that. I get you thinking about those things. And as I speak, things are changing. So as I speak, things are changing. So trying to have an attitude towards a growth mindset and a willingness to learn new things. Ethics. We need to be an ethical industry. We need to build trust. We need to build trust with ourselves, our own employees, our clients, our trade partners. And so what does that really mean? And we talk about certain ethical standards that we need to strive for. We need to be ethical about our employees, make sure they return safely home, the environment, uh, basically how we interact uh, with clients. Construction really is a long game. You want to be able to have clients for life. You know, you get an auto mechanic, you want to have a good auto mechanic to fix your car. Once you get one, you start thinking that's the auto mechanic that I want to have. Same thing goes with contractors in construction. There's a lot of repeat business that goes on in our industry. And, oh, uh, associations. So I get into associations and certifications here. I've done other videos on my channel on uh, certifications, but I do get into associations and certifications and how associations work and how certifications work, like PMP as an example, or CM Lean. And I give a good introduction to lean construction because I feel that this is dramatically changing how we do things. And we have to make improvements. And I don't see how lean construction can veer us in the wrong direction, depending on how far you adopt and what you adopt within the parameters of lean. I think the philosophy is fantastic. And it really did a develop out of lean manufacturing, continuous improvement, adding value to the client and respect for people. And then we give a course overview, a review like a, of what we talked about and try to pull all these little nodes of things that we put out there together and to have it make a good semblance of sense. And really, when you exit this program and this course, I hope that you'll exit with a good idea of how to improve yourself, how to excel in your careers, and how to really be an, a, provide added benefit to the construction industry. So if I'm able to do those things in this video, I'm going to be very, very satisfied um, with that and feeling good that I'm helping people um, to advance themselves in the construction industry. That's really um, a big thing for me uh, in this. Now, what I will do and what I have done in the description below, so if you open up the description below in YouTube, I will have provided the links to these videos. All right, so you can go to those videos. I recommend you go to my playlist. Take a look. You know, you click on the picture of the person. You look across the top. It says playlist. I have a bunch of playlists. You might have to scroll down for a few, but look for introduction to construction. Under that playlist will be all these videos. So it just makes it easy for you to get to the particular video you want. And of course, it really helps the channel, helps me to do more of these videos if you click subscribe. It also brings up new videos as I'm doing new videos all the time. And as things become pertinent, as you leave comments and questions, it lets me be able to respond to them and you'll be more quickly see it come up on your screen that way. So it's really, really helpful for the channel if you subscribe if you haven't done so already. The other thing is I'm going to provide a Google Drive 
link. And at the Google Drive link, you can download all of the PowerPoint slides for the course and you can also download, there'll be the overview. So there's a folder that you'll be able to download. And then, you know, if there's notes you wanna take, uh, things of that nature as you're going through the videos, you'll be able to take those notes and it'll be very helpful for you that way. I've had a lot of feedback on that. I've started to do that with my Microsoft Project uh, course, uh, Microsoft Project the course, uh, providing those kind of links so people could follow along a little bit better. So I hope this will be helpful for you. I hope this will help you in your career. Please leave a comment. You know, what are you trying to get in construction? Uh, if you have questions as you're watching the video, leave a, a comment like, what's this? I don't get that. If I have time, I don't always have time, but I try, uh, I will respond to you. And thanks for all the kind words um, over the years. I really, really do appreciate it. So I'm Tom Stevenson, wishing you a wonderful day, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.